Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we will be looking at the history of the Pokeball. We will look at where they came from and how they have evolved over time. So, where did the Pokeball come from? Well, the earliest known use of a Pokeball is in Pokemopolis, and it wasn't really a Pokeball. In the episode The Ancient Puzzle of Pokemopolis, Ash and friends come across an odd shaped urn and a colourful spoon. An object, known as a dark device, was also found. It was later revealed that the spoon was used to unlock the urn, releasing a giant Alakazam, while the dark device contained a giant Gengar. These items are the earliest items known that were able to store Pokemon. These two objects aren't the only ones known to contain a giant Pokemon, which does seem to be a running theme in the Pokemon world. In the episode Claydol Big and Tall, it is revealed that Claydol lived inside a giant Pokeball shaped stone. It is said that this is at least 20,000 years old. This is the only time we are given a date as to when dealing with the ancient world, but since Pokeball seems to have existed at this time, we can assume this was done after the use of the Urn and Dark device. Staying with ancient history, we have to look at Pokelantis. In the episode Battling the Enemy Within, we discovered an ancient Pokeball was used to capture a Ho-Ho before being sealed away as it had managed to destroy Pokelantis. However, when Ash finds the ball, we discover that it is actually used to seal up an evil spirit of a king. This is the first and only time we've been told that humans can enter Pokeballs. Now, let's look at the final part of ancient history, and this is an area we currently don't know quite how it fits into the timeline. Pokemon Legends Arceus is just around the corner, being released in only a few weeks. We already know that this is set long before present day, and we also know that Pokeballs used in the game are created from Apricorns. Apricorns seem to have become the standard way to create a Pokeball at some point in the past. This is a theme that is present throughout the Pokemon universe and has been ever since the release of the Johto region. This can be seen in the Gold and Silver games, as Kurt will create balls based on the apricots you give him. The process used to create the Pokeballs is said to have developed sometime between 400 and 700 years ago. During this time, in the development of the technology, the Odd Keystone was also created. The Odd Keystone is an item that was created roughly 500 years ago and is used to hold a Spiritomb. The origin of its creation is unknown and we also don't know why the Spiritomb was held inside it. In the episode A Ship Full of Shivers, it is shown that a ship captain used to keep his Pokemon inside modern day looking Pokeballs around 300 years ago. During this we also see the Orange Island Trophy, which is also around 300 years old and this is based off of a modern Pokeball design. So we can see that sometime around 300 years ago, modern Pokeballs had become standard practice. This however doesn't mean that all Pokeballs from this point on were going to look like what we expect them to. The key example of this is with Sam's Pokeball in the movie Pokemon Forever. We get a glimpse of life just 40 years in the past where we meet Sam. We also get to see his Pokeball, which looks like a circular canister with a twist top. We already know that modern day Pokeballs existed at this time, so the development of this ball is unclear. However, it is believed that Sam created this himself using a similar method that is used in the production of Apricorn Balls. Over the last few years, more advancements have been made in the Pokeball technology space. The Silphco are the leading company in these developments and recently showed off a Master Ball. This is guaranteed to catch any Pokemon, and so they are extremely rare and very sought after. Silphco are also responsible for the introduction of many different types of balls that we see such as Great Ultra and Premier. However, the Devon Corp was responsible for the introduction of balls such as Net Ball, Nest Balls and Dusk Balls that are used to catch Pokemon inside certain environments. Other items have also been shown to control Pokemon in recent history too, such as the blue and red orbs that control Groudon and Kyogre. Also Cyrus, who created the red chains, used these to control Palkia and Dialga. I also happen to just have a video on this if you wish to check that out. Well that is the end of this video, I do hope you all enjoyed. Is there anything I missed that you know of? If you did enjoy this, please like, comment and subscribe as that would be fantastic and I will see you all on the next one.